the theme is science and innovation for climate action, and it is part and parcel of the World Food Forum, where the theme for this year is agri-food system transformation for climate action. The forum is to discuss what do we know, what we don't know, where we are in terms of science and innovation toward transformation of agri-food system, and for that we are bringing in policymakers, we are bringing in practitioners, we're bringing in scientists, we're bringing in farmers, indigenous people, young people, and we want all these stakeholders to get to know what happens in the different areas and how could they work better together. What we want to do in this forum is talk about how the agriculture is both a contributor to the climate crisis, but also is the only sector that can help us get out of the crisis. Science, technology, and innovation can help us really switch from the bad boy to the saver. Because agriculture right now, yes, it does emit 30% of the greenhouse gas, but it's the only sector that also sequester, which we haven't yet grasped our head how much is sequestering. But what we know, is that if we transform towards better approaches, we can increase our sequestration capacity. In the old days, plant breeding or animal breeding or fish breeding used to take a long time. For the plant, it used to take about 15 years to have a new variety, and it used to take about $100 million to develop one variety. Today, with new technologies, and particularly gene editing technologies, that 15 years could be reduced to about five years, or even four. And that $100 million could be reduced to $5 million. So for the agri-food system transformation, right now, there are many, many technologies that can make a difference. And most of them are needed in the global south. So the Global North has taken up many of those science and innovation, but in the South, they're not yet adaptable and they're not available. But looking forward, if we wanna project ourselves in 10, 20, 30 years, what we need really is speed up that process of adoption of technologies. In the Science and Innovation Forum, we have about 20 sessions that's gonna look in details on what are the science and technologies and innovation in soil and water management. We have a session on foresight where we're looking at the 20 utmost technologies that are gonna change the future of agri-food systems. At FAO, when we talk about science and innovation strategy, we are meaning all kind of knowledges, from the indigenous knowledge, the local knowledge, the ancestral knowledge, and the small-scale producer knowledge. The different system in different indigenous people across the world, from the indigenous communities in Cameroon, the indigenous communities in the Andes, the indigenous communities in the Himalayas, in the Amazon, all of these have their own ways of producing food and conserving their ecosystem. And that's really what we need to look at. So at the Science and Innovation Forum, we have a session dedicated to understand better the indigenous knowledge, the local knowledge, the small-scale producer knowledge, and we have a session called Two Eyed Seeing to really dive into this kind of knowledges and discuss how could we bring it to be known, to be respected, and to be used as a peer-to-peer -peer learning across the globe. <laughs>